St. Ambrose University. This is John Ray, and I'm interviewing Zachel from uh, Milan, Italy. I met her on a train traveling from Verona back here to Milan. So, Zachel, I've been talking to you a bit, and I've gathered that you're a really well-traveled person. Like, no one from America is this well-traveled. So, uh, I thought the uh, most interesting thing was kind of your experience going to America and kind of traveling the world from there. So if you want to start, like, how did you decide to go and study abroad? Or not really study abroad, but study as a foreign student in America. Okay. Well, that's an interesting... Well, okay. So, well, like I was telling you before, the travel bug is in my family. I was born while my parents were traveling. And I've traveled all over Europe as a kid on family holidays. And I went to the American school in Milan for junior high school and high school. And that was so because my mom was actually planning to move to Los Angeles. And then we never moved to Los Angeles, but I had started going to the American school so that I would know English when we got there. And I ended up doing high school as well, and that's how I wound up in the States for college because having gone to the American school in Milan, I could do that, and my mom suggested that I go ahead and study in the U.S. So I came to Brown University when I was 17 years old, and in my freshman year, do you want me to just... Yeah, go ahead. Go for it, okay. I did my freshman year at Brown, and then sophomore year, I went with the Sea Education Association on an oceanography program, which was really, really nice. We traveled from Lisboa, Portugal, back to the U.S. in the Caribbean. So we did that plank crossing. And then I stayed on the boats to work for the rest of the year instead of going back to school. <laughs> and that's how I got sidetracked traveling already, sophomore year. And um, we were all over the Caribbean, pretty much. And then we sailed back up to Jamaica, and then to Miami, and we were stationed in Florida for two months doing work on the boats. Then I went back to Italy. I'm trying to remember this as I go along. Yeah. <laughs> After that, I went back to Italy, then I came back to the States, and I met up with the boats again, and they were up in Boston by then. And then after that is when I... When did I go after that? It's when I went to Australia. Then I went to Australia to do a semester abroad. I was for biology. I was still a biology major, and that was with the School for Field Studies. And it was a, a biotropical, what was it called? Tropical Rainforest Biogeographical Diversity Program. And that's where I met Dorothy, who's my friend that I was traveling with when we met on the train. <laughs> Um, and that was a really, really great experience as well. I was there for three months doing field work. Okay, after Australia, I came back to Italy and I went to Israel to work on a kibbutz for three months. And I was actually going to travel to Russia for that, but that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> so I did the kibbutz in Israel for three months. After that, I stopped by in Italy really quickly again. And then I actually took a quick one-week road trip with my mom. I didn't tell you about this. And we went to visit the Native American Reserve, or reservations. I never know which one is the correct word. Your reservation. Reservations up in uh, South Dakota, North Dakota. And then I went down to Costa Rica with the Friends World program. And I was there for a semester. And while we were there, we traveled from Costa Rica to Nicaragua, Honduras, and El Salvador. And after that, I went up to Long Island University, like I was telling you before. That was quite a culture shock going back yeah. from Central America back to Long Island. <laughs> and after that, um, oh, let's see, I have to remember what I did. After that, I moved back to Italy. F I quit school. Okay. And then I went back to Italy for about three years, and I was actually here in Italy for three years. And then I came back to Brown to finish up. 
And then I was at, then my last two sem years I did at Brown without doing any other more, any more semester abroad stuff. And then after school, my daughter Jocko was born. And with her, when she was really young, we traveled to Canada a bunch of times because my mom was living in, in Canada for a couple of years then. Mm -hmm. And then, well, traveling kind of like dwindled yeah. down after that. Okay. Then we went to Mali for five months. We yeah. went to Mali four different times. For one time we stayed for five months. That's where my daughter's dad is from. And, and then we went to Egypt one summer just on vacation. But, awesome. Yeah. Well, we're All five right. minutes now, so. Oh, okay. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sach. Hey, no problem. Thank there's you. Some, there's some Italian, so they, they know I'm interviewing in Italian, actually. Okay, si, sì, è vero. <laughs> Sono italiana di Milano, tecnicamente, però ho viaggiato per tutto il mondo. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, Ciao. Sembo Joe. <laughs>